Patient information film. Bone formation around a dental implant. Implants, just like natural tooth roots, are anchored in the jaw and should be surrounded by bone. The bony wall surrounding an implant can be damaged for various reasons, such that the implant is not completely surrounded by bone. To ensure an attractive appearance and firm anchoring of the implant in the jawbone for many years, the implant must be surrounded by bone on all sides. By a proven bone substitute material, such as Geistlich BioOS, the damaged bony wall can be restored. The damaged area is filled with Geistlich BioOS. The natural structure of Geistlich BioOS serves as a scaffold for new bone formation. To promote undisturbed bone formation and to support wound healing, the damaged area should be covered by a proven protective membrane, such as Geistlich BioGuide. The protective Geistlich BioGuide membrane is broken down naturally by the body after a few weeks. Geistlich BioOS is intermingled with new bone after four to six months and is then included in the natural remodeling process of the bone. Through successful restoration of the bony wall, the implant is now completely surrounded by bone. This creates pleasing aesthetic results and ensures that the implant will remain firmly anchored in the jawbone over time. Due to the bone regeneration, the implant and crown fulfill the function of a strongly anchored artificial tooth with a natural, attractive appearance. Geistlich BioGuide and Geistlich BioOS are the world's most widely used bone regeneration materials in dentistry. They are scientifically documented in several hundred studies and have been used on over four million patients. Geistlich BioMaterials wishes you a successful regeneration and a radiant, natural smile. <laughs>